we are quickly approaching the time of year where we have a mix of cold air and hot air. And guess what? We get lightning. So what's the best approach of dealing with it? Well, my staff knows quite agonizingly well that if we detect a storm front coming, which is capable of packing lightning, everything in this store is unplugged. And the power cords ideally are two to three feet away from the actual socket. Over the years, we've had customers who did unplugging, which is really your only defense against lightning, uh, and to have the lightning arc out of the socket, get into the power cord, and blow everything up anyway. Lightning is completely unpredictable in what it will or will not damage and the extent of the damage. Uh, we had one customer here locally in Montgomery, Ohio, uh, have a lightning strike. He called me out to his house, wanted me to survey the damage and give him the worst picture that he was going to face. When I arrived, I saw his lovely video camera on a tripod that, well, the tripod was fine. The camera was a ball of molten goo. In inspecting the rest of the system, the only thing that happened were two fuses on his speakers had blown. Everything else was fine. I had another customer to whom we sold a brand new amplifier and within a week, lightning struck. When the amplifier was sent in for service and evaluation, the manufacturer point blank said, we had never seen an amplifier where every resistor in it was blown in half. The customer felt that we sold him a poorly designed amplifier and uh, we should take care of it. We said, no, the insurance has got to deal with this. While we were getting him a new amplifier, he got struck again. This time, he got to watch a plasma ball go across his living room floor. And guess what? Anything in his house that was electric was gone. HVAC, um, washer, dryer, electric stove, refrigerator, everything was toast. Fortunately, he hadn't received his new amplifier yet, so that was going to be fine when we installed it. But that's how lightning can be. Um, there are products out there that uh, deal with surges and stuff, but with lightning, it's a no-hold-barred situation. It's going to seek the easiest and quickest path, and it, it's just impossible to tell where that's going to go. So my ultimate advice is if you believe there's going to be lightning unplug now if you're going on vacation and you're going to be gone for a week or a couple weeks then really as much as you have in your house that you can unplug uh, it could be the audio and video system but whatever else you have that is plugged in that is not essential to be running unplug it yeah, you'll save a few bucks on your electric bill, but you won't come back to a house that's full of toast uh, because you're not home to do this prevent defense. Uh, in our store here, we've had some near shots. In computer ease, uh, anything within a half mile is considered a direct hit. So, you know, those things that are very sensitive to electrical swings, get them clear. Uh, we've had... Uh, electrical lighting control systems taken out. Uh, we've had customers call us that their entire you know, automation system is out. And when you're dealing with something like that, Lord, you, you not only have the control units that are toasted by it, but you also have the potential that the wiring to them has been compromised. And uh, frankly, we won't touch it because there's too many unknowns when lightning gets loose. So be smart, 
you know, play the defense. Like, you know, unplugging is the best. Surge arresters may deal with a number of things. There are some that you can get for the whole house. Uh, talk to your electrical contractor about that. We don't do them. We don't sell them. Your electrical contractor is a professional who should be able to handle that for you to prevent the voltage swings that potentially may occur. Now, lightning, lightning is kind of a gift to us during the summer. I hate to say this because when people aren't paying, you know, prevent defense, so to speak, we've had to sell them entire new systems. We had a customer last year who had a very lovely large system in his home. He got to enjoy it for two weeks when lightning blew it to smithereens. Amplifiers, is Martin Logan speakers, you name it. And um, so we got to make two sales on, on one customer, but um, it's not the way we want to make sales, uh, but they happen. So if you have the chance, be smart uh, and watch out for this potential. And especially if you're going to be gone away for a couple of weeks, which reminds me of a customer who uh, was very fortunate, very nice customer of ours, who was away for a couple of weeks and his house got struck by lightning. And fortunately, a neighbor was paying attention because the neighbor looked over and literally saw the customer's roof line on fire. So he called the fire department and the house was saved. I mean, the electronics was a, it was a totally separate issue. But um, if you have nearby strikes and, and you care about your neighbors, you know, take a look out there and, and see what it has done or what it has struck. Um, because in this case, I mean, it saved the guy's home that, you know, at that time was probably four or five hundred thousand dollars today. You know, Lord knows what prices are in homes anymore. But it was a very lovely home. So we're getting into that season. It's going to start. Things are going to get rough. And um, we just want to see you happy. So when you come home, the only inconvenience you have is having to plug things back in rather than in calling your insurance you know, agent and waiting for an adjuster to go, come out for you to argue about what things are worth. So um, enjoy the advice. We do care about what happens to our customers. And even if you're not our customers, we don't want anything to happen that doesn't need to happen.